Hello everyone and welcome to Silent Hill Origins. Feels really good to go back into the Silent Hill universe. If you're unaware, I've already played quite a few Silent Hill games before. I'll put the playlists down below in the description. I've played 1, 2, 3, 4. I've played Homecoming most recently. And I also played uh, a mod called Al Camilla, which was also quite good. So I'll add that in the description as well. But uh, yeah, this is actually a game I've never played past the initial stages. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and apparently many of you are as well, because this was suggested many times in my recent Christmas giveaway video. So, really do hope you enjoy it. Let's start a new game and let's see what Silent Hill Origins has to offer. And uh, yes to both, please. Who did I just pass there? That you, good buddy? Street top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, late on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chick in your cab. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about new new pants when you do yet, but how you don't even remember how why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10-4. Catch you later, buddy. Okay, so yes, this is who we're playing as, Travis Grady, a long-distance truck driver who I think actually made a cameo in Silent Hill Homecoming as the person who dropped Alex Shepard off in Shepard's Glen, right at the very beginning. Was that the breathing sound effect from Stalker? It sounded like it. <laughs> Alessa? Huh? I suppose it could be. Hey, come back! I know this is called Silent Hill Origins. I, I don't know exactly, you know, when this is set as such. I know it precedes all of the other games chronologically, but, you know, is this, you know, before anything bad happens to her? Anyway, here we are. Uh, as you may have surmised, I'm playing the PS2 version rather than the PSP version. Initially, I actually did try to emulate the PSP version, but uh, I ran into many, many graphical issues, and apparently the game isn't even completable in the, its uh, emulated state. So I'm playing the PS2 version. No mods or anything, just the original PS2 version, and uh, yeah, there shouldn't be any issues like that. So yes, I have played the initial stages of this game before. I know what I'm going to be doing for the first 10 minutes or so, I suppose. And uh, first things first, we need to follow who I think is a lesser towards a house down here. You just had to go this way, didn't you, Travis? Of all the ways to cross the country, you had to go this way. Uh, 
Not fog. It's smoke. My God. Crafty smile on her face. Someone's in there. It certainly is. Well, providing I do everything right, Travis Grady is going to save the day. Um, okay, so it's been a while since I, you know, initially tried to to emulate this and everything. It was actually back before I played Silent Hill Homecoming, so there you go. That's uh, that was the last time I tried to play this game. I know one of these doors actually does work. That's locked from the other side, okay. Uh, could it be upstairs? Let's try upstairs. Maybe. Right, okay, uh, let's see then. Is it through here? Okay. Alright, let's make this quick. Uh, is it around this corner, I want to say? Yep. Behind the counter? Is that right? Just just around here. Yes! Yes! There she is. You're coming with me. Oh dear. <laughs> oh Travis. If only you knew what all of this means. Uh, okay. Well, we need to get her out of here. I suppose, you know, coming back the way we came is probably the best bet. Can you change the camera angle or anything? It's... Oh, you can! Brilliant! I think it's the same button on the PSP version as well. Fantastic. Uh... Not there? No? Okay. We're we going this way? Oh, boy. <laughs> it's never easy, is it? Alright. Nice one. It's got legs made of springs, apparently. Um, okay. Around the piano. Ah, that's it. Some sort of magical force is allowing us to go through the fire. I remember now. I think it has to happen again. Maybe around here? Yes, that's it. Okay, so... Uh, where are we going now? Is it... I want to say it's over here. Yes! Okay. That was the door locked from the other side, I believe. Okay. So here we are, back at the stairs, just out the door, and uh, that should be it. Nice one, Travis. Safe now. Someone help her! Where is... everyone? Okay, good so far. So, I've always thought that I, I knew the story of Alessa Gillespie, right? And I'm wondering, in playing this game, if I'm going to learn anything new that I don't already know from playing the you know, the first few Silent Hill titles. Maybe something, maybe nothing, but I'm wondering if we're going to sort of live through the things we read about in the previous games. I guess only time will tell. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> this looks familiar. Where am I? Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill? Four words you really don't want to hear. What happened last night? That girl. Did she make it? They would have taken her to the hospital. Coon Street. Coon Street. I need to see if she's okay. That's Al Camilla Hospital, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Al Camilla Hospital. So, yeah, there you go. There is our map of Silent Hill. Please come again. Uh, not if I can help it. Okay, brilliant. So here we are. It's a map of the town. I've already taken one. Okay, so I don't need to take another one down here. Fair enough. And I believe it's a uh, triangle to open it up. Yep, okay, that's fine. Just going to get, you know, associated with the controls, to be honest. Uh, okay, so that's like our inventory. I've got a flashlight, a radio, and a lucky quarter. 
Okay, can I... Yeah, let's examine it, shall we? I've had this quarter since I was a kid, from when my parents died. It's kind of a lucky charm. It has something scratched into it. it looks like 61. Okay, not really sure what that means, but fine. Uh, let's see. No supplies, no melee, no firearms, but uh, yeah, just those items. And we've got notes, map, and options and stuff up here as well. Okay, all right. All right, next stop, I suppose, is uh, Alcamilla Hospital. Which, I suppose, isn't actually too far away. Yeah, just, just around the corner, I suppose. Here we go, then. Yeah, so far, so good. Ah, here we go. I knew there was an entrance around here somewhere. Been here many, many times before. El Camilla Hospital. And wouldn't you know, the doors are open. Okay. Flickering TV over there, let's see. Okay, so these things here, they're the save points. I'm not going to save quite yet. I think this video can go on a little bit longer. Um... Ah, yes, that's what I was looking for. That's a map, right? I got the hospital map. Fantastic. I should know this place like the back of my hand, but, you know, in every game it does seem to change a little bit. So, um, yeah, okay. Okay, so that's pretty nice. It shows you where the save points are. The doctor's office, exam room, yeah, past the toilets. Director's office, that'll be Kaufman's office, I suppose. And then there's the uh, second floor up there. Okay. Yeah, it seems to have the same sort of layout as uh, as all the previous ones. What about have we got like a basement one? Because you know there is a there is a basement, right? Yeah. Seems I don't have the map for that area. Never mind. Uh, wait, what is this? Can we read this? Yes, we can. It's a public notice under construction. Currently, the second and third floors of the hospital are undergoing renovations. At this time, they are closed to patients and visitors. Uh, work continues in earnest, and the hospital management thanks you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimise the disruption. We estimate the construction would be completed within six months. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alcamilla, the quality of care we provide to you, our valued patient, is of the utmost importance. And that's Dr Phillips, Chairman of Alcamilla Board. Right, okay. Maybe that's why there wasn't any map of the third floor. Alright, fair enough. Well, let's just do what we usually do and, and go through and try every single door. Let's try the exam room. It's locked. Okay. It's locked, but the lock isn't broken, so maybe I'll get a key. Alright. Yeah, good stuff so far. Um, no doors or anything around here. This would be to the stairs. Yep. And uh, that lock is unfortunately broken. Alright. Well, let's hope the elevator works. Got some toilets over here. That's jammed. What about this one? Lock from the other side. Anything on this side of the room? Anything on this notice board? No? Uh, what about through here? Okay, that works. Lock's broken. Alright. Uh, some, you know, fire exit it looks like. Oh, oh, I can't leave until I know what happened to that girl. Fair enough, fair enough. Yep, she's uh, meant to be here apparently. Um, okay, so we've got a few rooms here, as well as the director's office right at the end. Again, a locked door, so we're probably going to need to find a key for that. Something's blocking it. There we are, the director's office. It's jammed! Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. Hey, you a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye. There was someone at reception? They were hiding pretty well. Hmm, up to the second floor. Okay. Uh, and this would be the door that goes to the basement, I believe. Locked from the other side. Okay, well, I suppose maybe we could take the elevator down. Um, 
Am I thinking of the other hospital? Or shouldn't there be a door there? Maybe I'm thinking of the other one. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I think what I need to do now is... is follow this guy. And I think go up to the second floor as well. So let's do that, shall we? A dirty gurney. Someone just left it here? That's going to be the least of your worries, trust me, mate. Um, yeah, second floor. And I think this is where my knowledge of the game falls off a cliff. Yeah, I played up to this point on the PSP version, and there were many, many problems with the shadows and stuff like that, so I, uh, I decided to play Homecoming instead. But I'm glad I came back with the PS2 version, because, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to really enjoy this. Yes? <laughs> Maybe that's the receptionist. You okay? I don't think so. What? Right. A hammer? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got a hammer. Right, uh, let's, yeah, let's just leave. Let's get ourselves out of this horrible situation. Um, okay. Now, I want to say it... Right, okay, so you actually use the D-pad and you can actually select various, uh, various weapons and stuff, it looks like. Up left and right, okay, so... Can I just use fists? How do we how do we punch and stuff? Oh R1, I see, okay. Yeah, okay. Can we uh can we charge up attacks and stuff? Okay, well maybe we can't charge up punches. Let's try let's try this. Ooh. Oh yeah, and the controller <laughs> the controller vibrates like mad. Big old swing, okay. Or just a couple of light swings. Okay, I think I'm uh, I'm ready for the nurse to see me now. <laughs> Missed that first one. Oh dear, here we go, come on. Oh, in the head. Oh, she's down for the count, okay. How, how do I finish you off? Oh shit. I can't seem to finish you off. Uh, uh, okay, hang on, let's just pair a charge attack. Oh, that's got to hurt. Come on. Come on, how'd, how'd you do this? A again? All right, again. <laughs> There's got to be a way. I thought it was just like tapping. It. Oh, okay. Maybe it is just tapping X. Maybe you just got to be in the, you know, at the right angle or something. So, uh, yeah, over the shoulder. Maybe that's the way to do it. Okay. Right. So, okay. I've been noting everything down on my map as we've gone, which is pretty cool. Looks like I can't go too far beyond this point, but there are a couple of rooms. 206 and 205. Let's try 206. Okay, something's blocking it. All right. Um, oh, hang on. Was there something back there? No, no. Okay, just a couple of sheets of paper. I thought maybe I could pick them up. Yeah, blocks with uh, all sorts of stuff. Should be able to go in here, though, I suppose. Right. Okay. Something's caught his eye. Is it something on the notice board? Or maybe it was the, uh, the gurney here. Yeah, stained with blood. Some of it still seems wet. Hmm. I know it's bored. Medical pamphlets, tropical diseases, baby vitamins, flu shots, da da da. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Nothing too important to me, funnily enough. Uh, go around, I suppose? Huh. <laughs> I like that. Nice reflection. Can we have a look at it? There's something wrong with the mirror. The reflection isn't right. No, it's uh, like looking into the other world. What's this? Um, okay, preliminary diagnosis. Third degree burns, patient is unconscious. Something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs. Tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is this possible? Well, that's got to be a lesser Gillespie, I would think. So, I think that guy downstairs was lying. She was here somewhere. An eye chart, medical charts, they mean nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. All right. Medical medicine cabinet full of drugs I don't recognize. You might want to get familiar with them pretty soon because I'm fairly sure you're going to need to pick up health drinks and stuff. Right, so... Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah. 
Yeah, alright, well maybe we should take another look at this mirror. You're the girl from the fire. How did you... You probably shouldn't have done that, Travis. I'm seeing things. Alright. This ain't right. Oh! Okay. So I guess we're in the other world now. Alright. What's that? There's something sticking out of the gurney there. I got oh I got a scalpel, okay. Um so hang on, does that So that shows up on the list here, it's an item, it's a weapon. Okay, cool. Something else has caught his eye as well. Uh I I got some plastic lungs. Okay. Why? <laughs> right, could Oh! Wait, am I going back to the, the, the nor- well, I was going to say the normal world, the foggy world? I think so. Wait, can I just do that freely? Apparently so, or at least I can in this room. That's kind of nice. Well, that's, uh, that's a bit of a new development. I don't think that was in any of the other games. Not the ones that I've played so far, anyway. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at the map. Have we got a map of this area? Is it the same sort of layout? It is, it looks like. But, yeah, I haven't actually uh, visited this hospital. Not in that sense. Not really. Uh, is it time to... Oh, hang on. That's it. I knew you should get familiar with it. <laughs> a health drink. Fantastic. Uh, Alright. Is, uh, is that easily used somehow? Okay, so that's obviously not one of these. Is that what I press up for? No. I suppose I could just probably press that and... I don't know, is it here somewhere? Plastic lungs. Maybe it's in one of the, uh, what was it, supplies? Yes, yeah, supplies. A refreshing herbal drink. Okay. And that's how I use it. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah. Let's, let's get out of here, shall we? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Uh, okay, let's um, let's just run around and, and make sure, you know, all the doors are checked. So this one, something's blocking it, fair enough. Can I see where I'm going? Let's um, run around the nurse if possible. Like I do in many of the Silent Hill games, I'm just going to see if I can avoid altercations. Often, uh, you know, trying to damage the enemies isn't actually all that worth it. Looks broken over there. Yeah, I assume this game is no different. Obviously, I'll have to fight myself out of certain situations, but... I save the health, save the ammo. Okay, this one. Seems jammed. Got some double doors here, which do work. Oh, oh these are the stairs, right? Yes, apparently so. Okay, um... I guess maybe I'll come back to this. I want to have a look at those five rooms over there. So, yeah, let's let's head back and try the others. Lock's broken, unfortunately. Uh, this one over here? It's jammed. Uh, I suppose this one is not jammed. Right. All right, what have we got here, then? Wait, hang on. Ah, there's like a note and something else. Let's have a look. A golden egg. I've got a golden egg. All right, fair enough. I'll, I'll examine that in a moment. But yeah, there is a note down here. Just sort of scribble down on some note paper. Parts of this note are obscured. Worry not. Something, something, something. I have used the something to contain her power. No one will come to her aid. Uh, blah, blah, blah. One of the five somethings. Hide them. Protect them. One of the five eggs, maybe? I'm not sure. That's the end of the note. Right, let's have a look at that golden egg. What's all that about? That will be an item, not a supply, I take it. As well as the plastic lungs. Why the hell did we pick those up? <laughs> an ornate golden egg. Okay, well, let's... Yeah, we can use it somewhere. Let's examine it. Warm to the touch. This egg is larger than a hen's and has an oily shine to it. Okay. Yeah. According to most reviews, this is actually, you know, one of the good Silent Hill games as well. I don't think... I'm not entirely sure if this was made by Team Silent or anything, but um, it definitely seems to capture the same sort of essence that the previous, or the older games, you know, brought to the table. 
Okay, there's a nurse over there. Let's continue going down here. Hopefully you don't run into anything. Lock's broken. Okay. What about this one? Come on. Ah, right, it, it works. <laughs> Just hearing odd noises. I'm not exactly sure if I should be alarmed or not. What's this? Okay, a note and a box. Let's have a look at the note. This heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still it, I have put it on ice and locked it away. Remember, the three beauties who cause it to pump so are the key. Age before beauty. Um, okay. Can we have a look at the box? Yep, it's a medical ice box with a lock. Take a look. I suppose so. Is it selected? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, I see. It's going to be some sort of combination. All right, well, let's just put in a few numbers. Was that it? <laughs> is that is that the good sound? I don't think so, but it looks like we're looking for a six digit combination. Okay. Okay. Age before beauty. Fair enough, I suppose. Fair enough. Uh alright. Let's see then. Through here. And I I think that's pretty much it, isn't it, for this floor really? Unless there's something right at the end here. Oh! I got a portable TV! Good for you, Travis! <laughs> Good for you! Uh, right, I know, you know, the nurse is approaching me, but I've got to find out what this is about. It's not an item? What is it? Wait, no, it's a melee? It, it's a melee weapon, right. It's got a slightly different symbol as well. Wait, wasn't that green before? Wait, d is there like weapon degradation in this? There might be. So, okay, let's just equip this. <laughs> yeah, that actually might be, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just fucking carrying the TV! Oh, Christ! Uh, yeah. So that, yeah, that appears on this list, that's crazy! Alright. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, so, uh, let's go to the stairs and let's go down and let's just keep searching the hospital, shall we? This variation of it. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Back up, back up, Travis. What's that? I've really got to pay attention to what his eyes and his head is sort of leaning towards and focusing on. It's usually a good tell. Right, okay. Uh... Can we go even further down here, or...? Uh, no, I guess not. Fair enough. Well, this is open, so welcome back to the first floor. Let's see what changes have been made down here. Alright. What have we got here? Uh, there is a death mask on the door. As, as you do. Uh, underneath is a plaque which reads, Even the blind have need of eyes, if they wish to gaze at the future. Okay. It, oh, okay, there's someone there. Uh, just want to sort of get us out of this situation. Maybe if I go back into the room, she's not going to be in the same location? Or maybe she is. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, quick time events. Bit of button mashing, fair enough. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what was that, though? I think there might have been something on the shelf. Hang on, what the hell is this? Uh, there is an oval depression in the door. Underneath is a plaque which reads, Even in this inferno, from out of the flames, I saw life born anew. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, is that what the egg's about? Let's go back to items. An ornate golden egg. It seems to have the same sort of symbol on the front. Yeah, I used the golden egg. Okay. Does it work? Right. <laughs> I'm so glad that worked. Okay. So hang on, where are we? Let's just... Let's just have a look at this. Oh, we're in the uh, the female toilets, are we? And there's that symbol. Wait, I... Huh, alright. Oh, right, so hang on, over here. That was... It's the mirror? Is it the mirror? Can we use it? Yes! So it's just all mirrors. We actually get to choose when we're in the other world or the foggy world. That's really cool. Alright, so... <laughs> I mean, hold on. Wasn't this... Okay, now now it's unlocked. Okay, yeah. I was wondering. Is that another health drink down there? It is. I'll grab that. 
Um, okay. Anything else in here? Hang on. Yeah, maybe. Someone has written on the door. It says Amy31. Amy31, okay. Is that something to do with the combination to the, uh, the medical box, I wonder? It's pretty likely, I think. So, Amy31. Right, Amy31. Okay, I've written that down. Fantastic. Um, okay. Hey! Something sitting on the toilet. This is why you check the toilets, guys. I got the staff lounge key. Right. <laughs> Alright, I, I don't know what to do. Um, should I go back to the other world and keep exploring, or should I just try the staff lounge? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's leave. I think what I'm going to do is uh, a third option, actually. I think what I'm going to do is go and save so uh, I don't make this first video too long. And uh, I kind of want to make sure that everything is recording as it should be. So thank you very much for watching the first video of Silent Hill Origins. Really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back for part two very soon. See you then. Was that the breathing sound effect from Stalker? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> this looks familiar. A again? Alright, again. <laughs> Medicine cabinet full of drugs I don't recognize. You might want to get familiar with them pretty soon. Oh. I got a portable TV. Good for you, Travis. <laughs> Good for you.